here at the Zancudo Police Station and Mark's going to show us some of the problems that they have with the building and how, what we want to do to fix it. Um, basic problems with this police station are it's extremely run down inside, termite damage, there's almost no ventilation, uh, there's almost no security, and the policemen have to live here for 10 days at a stretch, sleeping and eating and so on. Uh, it's really not a very good uh, good building. Got that. One of the uh, major problems here is the electrical uh, on this building is really in bad shape. You can see from the meter box here, it's almost falling down. They're using inadequate wires running inside the box. So one of the projects, one part of the project will be to run brand new underground wire into the building with a separate breaker box inside the building and then all new wiring to outlets and lights uh, as needed inside the building to get the wiring safe and, uh, and the way it should be. We're looking at, you can see that the, the front part of the building is a concrete prefab concrete wall built up about eight feet high and then it uh, drops down into a, a low uh, concrete block wall uh, and from there it's just a, uh, a mess of sheet metal and rotten wood and so on. This is the back of the police station. We're going to extend the concrete slab out uh, five feet. Uh, right now they're, they're on dirt floor here. We're going to extend these walls up and actually enclose this back and make it part of the uh, a part of the police station, probably the dining room, uh, uh, kitchen, kitchen area and lounging area back here. Let's go inside and take a look. This is the kitchen. Though they have a good stove and they have a decent refrigerator, the walls are black with years of grease. It's got a low ceiling. It's super hot in here and really rudimentary, unclean place to cook. Uh, right now, they don't even have a way to uh, drain the green water into their septic system, so it just runs out on the floor here, or on the ground. So part of the project will be to upgrade the uh, gray water system, make sure the septic system is working properly, and they have a good drain field here. This is the area where they would eat. At least there's a little ventilation here compared to the rest of the building. But take a look, you know, and they got the washing machine over here. They stored their motorcycle in the same place. This is the bathroom area. As you can see, there's not even a door opening into the, where they sleep. Small shower, a toilet right next to it, no wash basin. Uh, very cramped. This is the only storage area they have. My God, it must be like 100 degrees in here right now. It is really hot in here. Having trouble getting far enough back to shoot this, but there are six bunks in this little cramped room. So part of the plan is to remove the existing roof, uh, orient the peak of the roof in the opposite direction, and make the building higher in the back where you see that sheet metal and wood slatting. Make it higher back there and uh, make it a what more uniform look a bit looking building with the peak of the roof running east-west rather than north-south. Como se llama? Thank you. Rolando Zuniga. Rolando Zuniga. Quere, queremos saber si es necesario tener la, la, la el puesto bien cerrado como con barras por las ventanas y cosas como así. Yo diría que tal vez si se le pueden hacer una ventana a los cuartos. Mm -hmm. Están demasiado caliente. Es demasiado. He's saying that they don't really need barred windows, but they need more windows, particularly in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Y usted tiene un lugar donde puede poner sus armas, que está seguro. No hay lugar. Un cajón. Me gustaría que lo viera bien. ¿Pero hay llave? No, no, no. <laughs> No, it's seguro, entonces. No. So basically, he was saying that he was saying that without a secure place to put the criminals, that they have to sit with them, and that can be a lot of time before somebody comes. This officer has worked for the police for 22 years, and he makes $460 a month. 
When they're here for 10 days, they get somewhat of a food allowance, but not much. Disculpe, hoy, hoy iba para Punta Urica. I think that we're really lucky to even have a police force in Zancudo. And right now, the government doesn't have any money, and the police will expect community participation to try to improve things down here because it is pretty unlivable. The reality of the situation is that the government is not going to um, rebuild this police station. They don't have the money. So the reality of the situation is if we want the police to be comfortable here in Zancudo, we are going to have to do it. It's not, if everybody helps a little bit, it'll get done quickly and efficiently and we'll have a new police station. Yeah, we had an incident here the other night and call, someone called the police and within, I'd say, at maximum five minutes, they arrived in force, multiple motorcycles and a pickup truck, lots of headlights, lots of flashlights, lots of noise, and I was delighted to see them. Hi, I wanted to tell a story that happened to my husband, Mark, and I. We were broke into a few years ago and had a lot of things stolen, and um, we got a tip from a community person, so we came to the police and told them our tip, and we were very pleased with the response we received from the police. They went immediately to the person's house that was suspected of stealing our stuff and actually had a look through and um, confronted the people. We did feel very, very good about our police here in Zancudo.